What's going on guys and eggs here? Welcome back to the channel. You thought my original tip video was great? Well, welcome to this one. 20 more insanely useful tips I wish I knew sooner. Let's get into it. Tip number one, did you know that if you hold down X on keyboard and mouse, you have the option to drop samples and weapons like support? Just like that, drop that. And I dropped my sample containers. Looks like you can also drop your backpacks as well as maybe items you're carrying like a solid state drive like in one of those quests. Tip number two on higher difficulty, sneaking past patrols is actually a necessity. Take a look at this right here. This is a patrol. I can choose not to fight these guys. And so I'm gonna run away. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm not. Speaking of patrols, if you can't kill them fast enough, they're gonna start doing what do they call breaching. Whoa! I'm doing my part. Speaking of patrols, I just killed one immediately, so I didn't have a breach. If you didn't know, these bugs, occasionally, one of them will stop what they're doing and do like a tiny little dance and emit this kind of orange gas into the air, which then starts a bug breach, basically alerting other enemies nearby and spawning in new enemies, which is why on harder difficulties, trying to sneak by patrols is actually something super beneficial. Tip number four, most armors have passives that give buffs to your character. One of the best ones right now is the light scout armor, which allows you to spot enemies on the map much farther away than normal. But there also is a medium armor that has it as well. Being able to see enemies before they see you is key to surviving and planning attacks. Tip number five, the longer you stay in the mission, the more enemies will spawn and be aggressive. Try to get your objectives and sample grinds as fast as possible to get out of there without having to deal with tons and tons of enemies. Tip number six is you can shoot while running if it's one-handed. So while you're running this direction, you can actually turn around, look this direction, and shoot while sprinting backwards. But it has to be a one-handed weapon. Remember that. Tip number seven, illegal broadcast side objectives. Instead of accessing the terminal and wasting time, just go ahead and blow it up and save time for democracy. Tip number eight, drop into a safe location and get all of your support gear stratagems down ASAP. This might be a stupid tip, but... <laughs> In reality, if you're not dropping in a safe location, you end up going in hot. On the harder difficulties, you're basically going to get screwed because you didn't have time to put down any of your support stratagems. Tip number nine, the extraction shuttle will always land facing south, so always be ready to enter in on the north. However, there was one time so far where it landed facing a different direction, and this was on one of those horde ones where where you're in a small circle and it landed a different direction, but for all the normal-ish missions, it seems to always be facing south, so make sure they can always enter in north, so plan accordingly for your extract. Now, tip number 10, this could be hit or miss, but the green samples seem to be easily farmed by doing the horde mode missions. We're able to get upwards of 10 samples in less than 10 minutes instead of 10 samples in 40 minutes on a normal mission. Tip number 11, how to dodge a charger easily, by using terrain, dodging at the right time, or by circle strafing. Circle strafing is basically kind of running in a circle, but then keeping your camera tight, so when he's coming close, you're able to just kind of dodge it immediately with a camera turn, circle strafe. I'm doing my part. Tip number 12. Easy way to kill a charger. Two rockets aimed at the same limb will result in a fatality. Based on my observations, when a rocket strikes either a leg or a side, the armor shatters, exposing vulnerable flesh. However, I've discovered that directing both rockets towards the same leg yields the best results in terms of effectiveness. Tip number 13, a super easy way to stop a charger in its path is to use the EMP stratagem. Launch it, it gets down, boom, stuns all the enemies in place. Perfect for you to set up and support your teammates to destroy all enemies inside of the EMP. But be careful, the EMP also does affect the Helldivers. Tip number 14, use explosive guns to hit the fleshy spots on the enemies. They do bonus damage like the auto cannon. And this came straight from the CEO of Arrowhead himself. Sure, it was obvious, but did you realize the percentages that I actually dealt versus non-explosive guns? Now you know. Tip number 15, boosters. They don't stack and it applies to everybody on your squad and they have unlimited uses. So feel free to buy them and use them every single time before you load it to a mission. I know that's such an easy tip, but people are still asking because they're just not quite sure and they don't want to accidentally waste it. Tip number 16 is actually pretty important. If you go into your options, your settings, and then go down to the HUD, we're going to go down until we see the compass where we're going to make the compass ordinal directions visible. This allows you to see northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest. You're going to see basically the northwest, the east, west, etc., which isn't there before by default. Tip number 17 is also in the options and the settings, and it's under HUD. If you scroll down to, if you scroll down here to reticle visibility, I would like to have it on at all times. So that way when you're sprinting, you can still see it. And if you have your secondary out and you're sprinting away, you still can see it. That way, while you're sprinting, you can see your aimer. When you're running backwards but shooting, you can still see your aimer so you can shoot accurately. It's something really nice to have in a setting you should definitely turn on. Tip number 18. If you're running low on stamina and you have a little bit of damage taken and you need to heal yourself, pop a stim. It will replenish not only your health but also your stamina and it actually temporarily heals you and gives you stamina for about one to two seconds extra after use. 
Tip number 19, make sure that you don't reload early because if you do, you're going to waste whatever ammo you had left inside your magazine. Yeah, this is something that eventually you'll just kind of figure out on your own. Some people still, again, are talking about not knowing this. So instead of reloading early, always try and reload on your last bullet. On top of that, make sure to always reload your weapons, including your support weapon, before picking up ammo on the ground or for the supply drops. That way you get a full magazine back even after reloading. As for the final tip, tip number 20, make sure to check out my videos and my other tip videos to find more tips. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll leave some gameplay with you. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Did you know you can change stuff on your weapon by holding the reload button? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep, go. I see cloak, cloak. Oh, gotta reload. I'm bad. Right side, throw an orbital. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the quick man. Oh, that's actually perfect timing, maybe? Oh, ho, ho, ho. More, more bugs, big bugs, big beetles in front. Where's my aimer? I guess I didn't need to bother doing that, but. There we go. Okay, that orbital might be a little bit bigger. I than back. Normal. It's the 120 heat seeks onto the closest thing, I thought, right? What? Huh? Oh, I'm alive! Somebody's screaming about their legs. Oh, oh that, that was, was the 120 barrage, not the 110. Yeah. Oh, that's my bad. That multiple. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. I. Wow, is they really. Is better? It said gopher killed me. Help, help, help. <laughs> well, I told you, man, this one might be a little bit larger than normal. Oh, file oh, tie in! Oh, oh freak. I'm oh. Dead. Oh, he's moving. I'll destroy that instead. Call down another one of these. Call me in and I can see if I can I'm throwing a <laughs> orbital. Oh, frick, he didn't like that. Ugh. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Grab the expendable. Oh, crap, there's biles on me. Oh, no! No, the heavy snow! Question, can you just destroy his legs? Don't know. I don't know, I've been hit him on the tum tum. And he just swacked me with it. Rolled it, frankly. Oh, objective complete! Hey, man. Uh, get up. I'm aiming for him! I'm gonna get him! We got him! We did! Oh, you guys drop on him? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Dang, I wish I would've got to see that. Oh, run, 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 hey, run, run, run. we completed objective, by the way. Yeah, we did. I have to get out of here just pretty quick. Invis guys on you. Yep. Oh, this guy's everywhere, you. I'm dead. Oh! Oh, no, I'm dead. I got two samples and two rare samples on me. Oh, boy. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Oh, my gosh. This is absolutely chaotic. I don't know how you're supposed to do this without having maybe better upgrades. Woo! Hey, Sean, you got some uh, people on you, buddy. John says, Oh, what the? Whoa! A whole giant patrol literally just spawned on top of me and then I killed them all. Uh oh. What's this? Hey, if you guys. I found some more holes up towards me. I've got so many samples. I'm gonna try and go. Oh, oh what the? We stuck out a rocket for this guy. Let's see how it works. Probably shooting in the head, not the best spot, but that was the only angle I had. Freaking, there's these guys over here, too. Not safe here, man. There's a tight right in the middle of the nest, so there's no chance. What? Bro, I waited for him to shoot at the dodge. Run, Sean, run! Dang, this mission is brutal. I was thinking it'd be 
Easy. Skitty's got it. Which way is it facing? South. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. 